today's morning devotional. One pulse of life in all creation. Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. Matthew chapter 6 verse 28. The hillsides and the fields were bright with flowers, and, pointing to them in the dewy freshness of the morning, Jesus said, Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. The graceful forms and delicate hues of the plants and flowers may be copied by human skill, but what touch can impart life to even one flower or blade of grass? Every wayside blossom owes its being to the same power that set the starry worlds on high. Through all created things thrills one pulse of life from the great heart of God. The flowers of the field are clothed by his hand in richer robes than have ever graced the forms of earthly kings. It is he who made the flowers and who gave to the sparrow its song who says, Consider the lilies, behold the birds. In the loveliness of the things of nature you may learn more of the wisdom of God than the schoolmen know. On the lily's petals, God has written a message for you, written in language that your heart can read only as it unlearns the lessons of distrust and selfishness and corroding care. Why has he given you the singing birds and the gentle blossoms, but from the overflowing love of a father's heart, that would brighten and gladden your path of life? He has filled the earth and air and sky with glimpses of beauty to tell you of his loving thought for you. The beauty of all created things is but a gleam from the shining of his glory. If he has lavished such infinite skill upon the things of nature, for your happiness and joy, can you doubt that he will give you every needed blessing? Consider the lilies. Every flower that opens its petals to the sunshine obeys the same great laws that guide the stars, and how simple and beautiful and how sweet its life. Through the flowers, God would call our attention to the loveliness of Christ-like character. He who has given such beauty to the blossoms desires far more that the soul should be clothed with the beauty of the character of Christ. Who would dream of the possibilities of beauty in the rough brown bulb of the lily? But when the life of God, hidden therein, unfolds at his call in the rain and the sunshine, men marvel at the vision of grace and loveliness. Even so will the life of God unfold in every human soul that will yield itself to the ministry of his grace, which, free as the rain and the sunshine, comes with its benediction to all. It is the word of God that creates the flowers, and the same word will produce in you the graces of his spirit.